Hey, we're doing the opening for Old Cam right yeah. now. Okay, opening, yeah. <laughs> I always love this. They put you right in front of the camera. What is the hot news today? Oh, wait. Oh, the hot news today is the President of the United States is basically blaming the end of the world on the Republican Party because they won't be reasonable. They won't raise taxes on the wealthy. Wait a minute. How in the world? Okay, hey, everybody, this is not a spring ticket. How in the world? I, I'm still trying to figure this out. Um, that the president is blaming the Republicans because they won't allow them to raise taxes. And I'm trying to figure out how that works since I think they've got a Democratic majority. Right? In the Senate. Yeah, and the president is in the Oval Office. So I'm still kind of wondering the how Senate in the world... Will, Senate will not vote to raise taxes. Ah. Now that's, that's good. I'm glad that they won't. Anyway, see, you, can, see, you have to look at behind these politics because you know what? Each side will use the other as a scapegoat because it is the Republicans' fault, right? Or is it the Democrats' fault? Or wait a minute, what was this been? Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, the President of the United States is basically on a massive attack job on the Republicans. They're going to be responsible for this. They're going to be responsible for that. Because all of Amer the majority of America supports me, including the majority of the Republicans that put these people in office. That the Republicans are being, <coughs> they're, they're, they're standing up for the wealthy, which means if you're a business and you make 250000 that's wealthy to Obama, who mm -hmm. makes like eight, ten million bucks a year. Mm -hmm. But, uh, they, you know, it basically it's not going over well, even with the Democrats, because as of yesterday, they backed off on Apopolis. Because Apocalypse? Yeah, that it was not going to happen. The airplanes flew, the meat things are there, they, and they said that. What it amounts to is that there's not going to be any new hiring. Oh, is that why they That's, said spending cuts not an a cop, a pop, uh, I can't even say the word now, apocalypse, and yeah. the GOP should compromise. I know. He, 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 his, he said his idea of compromise is raise taxes. He, he wants to close the tax loopholes to raise the tax rate up to 51%. Okay, he got it raised from 30 some percent to 41% last month. Mm -hmm. And now he wants it to go to 49%, mm -hmm. which is actually 51% by closing tax loopholes, which the average citizen doesn't get. Well, yes, the average citizen can use the same loopholes, folks. Mm -hmm. they, they said that 47% of the people in the nation pay no federal income tax whatsoever. And if they, uh, but they are now paying payroll tax they weren't paying before. And they're now paying fees for Obamacare they weren't paying before. They're now paying insurance fees, which they didn't have to pay before. And they figure sooner or later the public is going to get the idea that this guy is costing us lots of money. Mm -hmm. And scans for lung cancer may save lives. Uh, that's why they do them. I mean, <laughs> and that, they, they, I mean like... they've been scanning for lung cancer. Uh, we're talking back since the x-ray machines were first created scanning for lung problems and it's now dawned on some bureaucrat that they may actually work like a hundred years after the fact. DHS freed over 2,000 immigrants since February. And uh, Obama went after the AP reporter that basically broke the story. The, the day she broke the story, the man that signed the paper to release the people resigned from his job mm -hmm. because there's no one in the Obama administration that basically will admit that they gave the orders. And now they've also decided that uh, a thousand people, they're going to release a thousand illegal aliens. She can do it anytime she wants to. You know? I know she can. Instead of going around, she wanders through the middle. So, but, uh, as far as the eye can see, they're going to release a thousand people that are criminals onto the streets. They said that was always the Obama plan, was to empty the jail cells of all of the people that shouldn't be, you know, you know, come on, you little horse's ass. You know, you can get up there. So, <laughs> look at that smile. She acts like she can't do things, and she's got eyes like an eagle and like a cruddy mountain goat. <laughs> I know, she does. Look at her. And surveys show, oh, two, DHS freed over 2,000 immigrants since February. Yeah, it, 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 you know, it's going to be 5,000 very shortly. And what is DHS? The Department of Homeland, Homeland Security, Security, which oh. refused to admit that they're done it. Okay, the, basically what's going to happen is the I, uh, ICE people are blowing the whistle on Obama 
and the courts are basically ordering them back into jail cells just as fast as Obama releases them now. Mm -hmm. And but it shouldn't. And they said, well, isn't that costing more money? And they said, you have to understand, it's a government, and a government spends. Time. Okay, here's one this morning. You're gonna love this. There's 165 million dollars in cash sitting in government coffers mm -hmm. that's not being used. Mm -hmm. They could have avoided the sequester with taking money from from the basically money that they don't even want to admit they have, but they do admit they have. Plus, there. Uh, how about this? There's uh, there's 65 million dollars in in government training programs such as teaching uh, having a chef show army cooks how they can make their food look better. Ooh. 65 million dollars in training videos mm. that no one has ever seen. Oh. Yeah. And surveys shows China manufacturing a four month low. Yeah. Uh, surveys mm. also showed today that despite what the president is saying, it's probably what Wall Street is showing, factory orders are at a, at a six month low, inventories are at a six month low, consumer confidence is at a six month low, uh, house construction is at a six month low. There's a common thread with all of this, folks. While he's saying everything is getting better, all of the th things are now showing. Because remember, this is Saturday. On Saturday, they tell you the real news. Ah, uh, and lawmakers dispute records for private gun sales. Yeah, well, because they're okay, there will never be a private gun sale if they have to keep records of it. Mm -hmm. And first of all, like they said, criminals don't do records. So she got no. Now yeah. she goes, she, she, she sees everything. Goes. Like Afghanistan, U.S. Special Forces, it must leave province. Yep, they're all, uh, they're, they're, okay, what's happening is, is we're not pulling it, we're doing Vietnam all over again, where we're being chased out of every place in the Middle East that we're in. Mm -hmm. Protest votes add to uncertainty in close Italy election. Yeah, because the, the, the anti-increase uh, taxes mm -hmm. people won the election, but here's the problem. The former prime minister ended up second, barely second in the election, which means his party and him actually control the government again. Ah, and Japan PM Abe keeps ratings high as he pushes reflation steps. Uh, okay, uh, the Japan is basically, uh, it's in its third recession. It's, 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 it's triple dip now, isn't that something? And they're mm -hmm. trying to pump, they're, what it is is, as long as the United States leads the world in printing press production, we'll always be able to have lots of money because they, they're, they, they're printing money in Japan to cover the cost of the money they're spending oh, are they? to reinvigorate the economy, which means the money is worthless and it gets devalued every day. So instead of reinvigorating the economy, it makes life more difficult to live in Japan. Skeptical. Oh, oh. Yeah. that makes sense. Senate panel likely to vote this week on CIA pig. Yeah, and they're gonna give Obama. They're gonna they're gonna give Obama right across the board everything that Obama wants. Oh, they they found out this morning that this Lou guy who they said was going to you know was going to do uh, this and that. He's actually going to do exactly what he's you know what he's been known for. He believes that the wealthy should be hit harder, and that basically taxes. Uh, what is it going? That they're gonna put. They're getting ready to put in a thing. If you have a 401k plan, they're going to tax you, uh, going to hit you with a transition tax to have a 401k. They're going to hit everybody that has any, that got any investments are going to be hit. They're going to hit you with one thing after another after another. So you thought the guy knew was bad? This guy is even going to be worse. Um, um, skeptical Syrian opposition to attend Rome talks. Well, because there's not, as long as, as long as, uh, Assad holds the gateway to the Middle East, and he, his military is never going to back out of Damascus. The United States is not going to provide military support, and none of the other countries are going to provide military support because you can't get the stuff into the country. You have to come through Israel, which isn't going to allow it, or you have to come through Iran, who isn't going to allow it, because Iran is running, helping control the government, so he's not going anywhere. And a year-old rapper, Little Poopy, has been disowned? Oh yeah, basically Bill O'Reilly wants the father of this rapper put in jail for child abuse. I'm okay. What? Um, I, uh, I've been working since I was six months old. I guess my parents and grandmother would have been tossed in jail if Bill O'Reilly had their well, way. Well, they do have children on set. I mean, baby 
baby kids. Okay, but put it this way. But they're sleeping, they're yelling, they're... I was there in the days of, of a very young Elizabeth Taylor, Roddy McDowell, all of these people. All of their parents, if Bill O'Reilly would have his way, would be in jail cells. And you'd never had an Elizabeth Taylor, you'd have never had a Roddy McDowell. You would have never had any of the people that went on to be great stars if Bill O'Reilly would have been around. And McDonald's is getting rid of its chicken selects and fruit and walnut salad and is considering the removal, the removal of Angus burgers. Yeah, because they said, well, we've got too cluttered a menu. Well, what? they have a very limited menu. But, but what the I Angus think, burgers are the best ones. Okay, uh, we'll have the, the, uh, the ice cream chick. What about french fries? Oh, we haven't even seen french fries on the menus. Uh, they're not there. They're here. I asked them. I, I know because when I looked, it was like five different five different McDonald's. I saw it maybe on the dollar menu. I'm like, where's your large french fries? Where's, what about the medium french fries? How come they're on the menu? Because <gasps> Michelle... Oh, they're not on the menu? Michelle Obama doesn't approve of french fries being listed. Remember, you have more to fear from Michelle Obama than you do her husband because she's now running for president, folks. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, sometimes it is best to listen.